so that they can see Maybe you shouldn't eat that car. sandwich today. Take a break from the food. Maybe you should get hit by a car, you piece of <laughs> <laughs> Good job, ma'am. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. It's nothing like having the kids come back home. When they walk through the door, the first thing they see on the bed is a double toasted shirt from DTMerch.com. <laughs> A nice homecoming gift for all your college students who are visiting during this summer vacation. Right <laughs> On the bed, have waiting for them a shirt, a beanie, a jersey, a phone cover. And we have our spring sale for 25% off selected items. And that's where you can sign up over at DoubleToast.com. Many ways, by the way. The way I recommend, though, is very easy. Use your Amazon account. Combine it with our Amazon pay button. Username, password, put it in there, press send. Bam! Ooh, Gwenny, Gwenny, do you feel that? She's like, what? Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I know you're in shock right now, but don't worry. Gwenny, don't relax. It's just that toasty goodness. Oh, Park West. That's where we're going to be having our show. Doors open at 7. Show starting at 8. Full show. Comedy, games, prizes, music. We've been having some fun here, and I hate to bring the momentum down. I really do with some, some sad things that are going on in the world. But, I, and again, not... Okay. Let me just say this, because I'm not talking about every white person. But y'all, the, the white people out there, and it's most of y'all who are cool, y'all need to, to get these phones away from these other white people mm -hmm. who want to just call yeah. somebody. If y'all tell us to stop our people on World Star, you need to stop your people yeah. out here calling the police on us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You see somebody pull out a phone, don't tackle them, don't do anything. Just see if there's a black person or maybe a brown person around and see if they're about to call them or, or call the police on them. And if they do, once you see it hit that nine, that one, tackle. Take them down. They're going to call it on them. Yeah, yeah. No, they're white. You know, that'd be all right. In fact, that other person might wake up and be like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to do something. What stupid. came over me? <laughs> we had another incident. And this time it wasn't even black people, man. It was, it, was, it was brown people. And we've seen this happen before. But it went hard this time. And of all places, you're like, oh, what part of the South? What part of middle America? Nah, man, this was in... Good old gentrified hipster New York. Somebody's at a store and they're, oh, they're doing the thing that some of these people in Trump's America don't like. Mm -hmm. Talking that Espanol. How dare you? Somebody say, how, exactly, how <laughs> dare you? Do you know where you are? Mm -hmm. You speak my language when you up in here. And they caught this person, as usual, on camera, going off. She's speaking in is America. Yeah. He's very ignorant. He's very ignorant. I like the way the other white people in there, they didn't, they didn't budge. They said, yeah, I ain't catching on this racist trap. No, right? <laughs> not my time. <laughs> no, not me. You ain't gonna have me on Facebook losing my job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so you can stand. call the cops on people who aren't speaking English? Oh, he ain't Martin. He ain't calling the cops. Our nation I'm calling ICE. Call ICE. ICE. So Maybe you shouldn't eat that sandwich car. today. Take a break from the food. Maybe you should get hit by a car, you piece of <laughs> <laughs> Good job, ma'am. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> was quick, too. Yeah. You know, like I said, man, it was, it, it was uh, just a week ago. Week ago. A week ago, week ago, week ago, week ago. White people, <laughs> not just one, not two, several, were calling the, the police on black people. It's, this is the latest hit right here. I hear you have a problem with these gentlemen having a barbecue here at the lake. Uh, it's illegal to have a charcoal grill in the park here. The charcoal terminator, man. How dare these Negroes come out here and use this kind of fuel God that's not regulation. You. God help you if I catch you having a good time. Yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, wild black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be struggling and yeah. playing Mississippi blues. <laughs> Why the hell are you smiling? <laughs> I'll put a stop to all this black jovialness. Yeah. So we had, we just saw this woman calling the police on black people. Had this dude over in this video talking about, I'm calling ICE on Latinos now. Damn, but at least, you know what? At least I'll give it to you. You're moving up. I don't know what y'all gonna do next. Y'all gonna, gonna call it airstrike on Jews? <laughs> you know what? What the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're changing the game up a little bit, though. And <laughs> of all the things to get upset about, though, it's like you—you you just came out to get your lunch and whatever, wherever this Whole Foods place looks like, and you just came to get your your vegan meal, and you get mad because your waiter or your server or whoever is helping you get your food is speaking Spanish to themselves, and then somebody else, another right. customer, to speak Spanish. Exactly. What are you mad about? I. Be, you know, okay, I can tell you why, because in this, the sense of entitlement that goes on with these people, man, 
this uh this guy i think if you even listen close enough i even i think he either said or he alluded to you know this is my country sure yeah you speak english in my country like you just took american and just wrote your name on it with a sharpie <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> you know this is called america not dickhead you know this is not your country this is not this does not belong to you these racists out here a lot of them they are like when it comes to like talking about the country they live in they are like a two-year-old with a new toy mine sure. you know it's mine nobody shares you know it, it you need to put that phone down, go stand in the corner until you learn how to share. What is always this that, is ridiculous. You know, you live off the off the money that I I, I pay for you. It's like okay, so out of the thirty five thousand dollars a year you make and the taxes you pay off that, how much exactly are you paying for this person right here? Yeah. Well, they, you know, because I write you a check. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's a nickel. Yeah, here's a nickel, and give me my yeah. change. Put your ass in a camp somewhere. <laughs> you know, this is the, you know that's the problem. This guy charged at them because he already had in his mind. If you listen to him, like these are these people are legal. Mm -hmm. They when they when they start talking Spanish, they spoke clear English, no accents, or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. tell tell us about uh tell us about this dude, man. So Aaron Sloshberg is a Manhattan attorney who did give five hundred dollars to the Trump campaign mm -hmm. and has been found and. Uh, his firm has started getting one-star Yelp reviews as a Mexican restaurant on Yelp. <laughs> this is confirmed, all right. We ain't just this, this, this is confirmed uh, from yeah, because we CNBC. get sued by him. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's allegedly. Yeah, is this true? <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, they have the records of his donation and shit. But okay. yeah, the law offices of uh, Aaron M. Schlossberg Esquire, PLLC, is a Spanish restaurant in New York. Wow. <laughs> now uh, getting one-star Yelp reviews. You know what? I, I heard their taco bowls are dope, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, man. I really don't get this. You have so it, oh, these people seem smart. They got they got a lot to lose. They've got a lot on the line right there. It's just like when they hear it, certain people in this country. They hear another language being spoken, most of the time Spanish, and it's just like a frequency they just can't take. Shut up, shut up, shut up. They heads they, explode in Texas. Yeah, yeah, it's just they can't take it because we've seen this before. I wish I had the videos. There are videos where people have been going crazy multiple times. There was mm -hmm. a woman who went crazy, I believe, in a Michaels or something. Okay. Oh, and, yeah, I remember And they that. had her going crazy in like two other videos. Okay. The woman who went crazy... Uh, was it Michaels and Starbucks? Is that the same person? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was a Michaels... And then it wasn't a Starbucks. It was her. Like, she went off on a woman for being black in one store. And then she went off on a homosexual in okay. a coffee store. The woman who got mad at those people at that seafood place, the chicken place, something. You remember? Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, they, they were talking like, You're, I don't want to see pornography in the store I'm trying to eat. They dug up They dug up dirt on her. And we got a million viewed video yeah, for that. Yeah, she, she doing naked photos? She was doing pornography. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So they dig up all this shit about you. If you got a history, shut the fuck up. The only person I haven't seen get, 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 you know, because some of these people withdraw, you never see them again because this whole thing with speaking Spanish that triggers these people out here with this, this high frequency that certain racist white people can't take. Uh, it's happened before. You remember the wheelchair dude? Yeah. The, the guy that was uh, telling somebody else to shut up. In uh, the airport? Uh, in the airport. I want to hear y'all talking that, 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 that Espanol. Learn how to fucking speak English. Unbelievable. You live in America. Dude, I, I feel sadness for you. I'm glad you did. I feel because real, I feel fucking, real freaking sad. Really fucking piece of wow. shit like you. You know this dude right here. <laughs> he and the way he pointed and talking, he talking like he really gonna do something. Exactly. Like he, like he gonna enforce something. He ain't even got his legs, but can run that mouth. <laughs> talking about you know, you know speak English in this country. Like it's like the country belongs to him. This piece of shit right here. I'm looking at him right now. I was so mad when I saw this other video because he can't even do nothing. To back himself up. If that if that dude he's talking to decide to like roll his ass to the nearest escalator and push him down, ain't no fucking thing he yeah, do about like, it. Looks like a balcony or some stairs, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <Oops>. I was <laughs> <laughs> would look just like them dummies going. To <laughs> no, <laughs> he talking about. Uh, well, you know what? That's why I'm going to Canada. And Canadians are talking about. Yeah, come on over here. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were like, hey, if Trump wins, you guys can come over here. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, you, know, you know what? Ain't none that bullshit up in here in Canada. Come on up. We're nice. Everybody, we're nice. No, no. Canadians are just as selfish and crazy like anybody else. There was a Denny's in Canada where this woman heard these people speaking. I think it was Pakistani. And she turned around. They weren't even messing with her. And she lost her shit on them. Because you're a ignorant prick is what you are. <laughs> yeah, you're funny, eh? You know what? Uh, you're fucking funny, eh? Uh, 
Canadian racism is just funny to me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, go back to your fucking country, eh? <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> Just to give you a little update with her, she, I think she worked at a car dealership or something. I don't know if that's what it is. What I do know is that they put her name out there. She's on all over Facebook and social media, and she lost her job. Good. Yeah. Yeah, they, the company put out something like, yeah, we don't know this bitch. Nah. <laughs> you know, they, they just said, we don't, you know, the usual, we don't condone this, we don't like it, and she no longer is employed by us. Right. And, and of course, she's, she, she came. She kept chasing off customers anyway. <laughs> the, the, and she did that whole thing. Where she was talking about, well, you know, I was drunk. That's not me. And like, yeah. Uh, well, well <laughs> were you drunk? That is the true you. <laughs> yeah, it is the true you. Well, bitch, it looked like you on that video. Yeah, yeah Dr. Jekyll used to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's the, these people, I don't understand. And by the way, when I say Canadians, uh, uh, Canadian, Canada, Canadians, uh, Canadians, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Canadians. Uh, when I say Canada, that I, when I say Canadians are crazy, y'all are, man, y'all about to take. Uh, Y'all about to uh, uh, compete with Florida for some of the shit they do. Whole I don't think anybody going to take that crown, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit is set in stone. They, I said they on their way. Anytime you mention it, Florida goes, oh, yeah. Oh, that <laughs> is true. Show you. <laughs> that is true. Because just today a video came out. We'll probably talk about it later. I'm not going to even show the whole video, but you can see everything. Some woman was at a Tim Hortons. You know, you know it's a, I think that's a chain restaurant. It's in Canada. It's yeah. in Canada. A place called Tim Hortons. And this woman is, you can't hear anything on the video, but uh, the person behind the desk, uh, the cash register, did something to her and she didn't like it. So she got some tissues, pulled down her pants, and took a shit on the floor. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. and you can see it too, everything. A big old long turd came out, followed by a little piss. She wiped her, she, 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 first of all, she picked up the turd with the towel, paper towel, wiped her ass with it, and then threw it at the dude behind the counter. Damn. Yeah. I'd have to kill her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> say what you have want to, maybe get a little fist of cuss, but don't throw shit at me. You are not an ape. I'm yeah, not yeah. an ape. It's not a good look. <laughs> it's, I love the way everybody just, well, there goes my appetite. <laughs> just sitting in there. But there's that one weird dude that's like, I can get some more coffee right Oh, now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you looking for that shit staying in the trash. <laughs> Where'd it go? But no, nah, man. Number 12. <laughs> no. But it's, yeah, it's been a whole bunch of stuff. Like, there was two other uh, videos that I saw kind of like this today. One with the. Um, I think he was a real estate agent where somebody got the police got caught on him and then there was yeah. another one with the uh this guy walking his kid and his uh he, his wife was uh, white and he was a black guy and apparently this woman called the the security officer on him because it looked like he had like stolen a baby because the baby wasn't the same complexion as him it was weird man wow that's, i did not see that one yeah i saw that one uh, today and I, I double checked i was like all right let me see if this shit is real and i went and looked at his facebook and i was like yeah this is this is real this happened back in may 5th i believe where uh, this guy had all the papers that he needed to go into uh, this house to take pictures so he could flip the house. Yeah. He was trying to get his business started. And the woman said, you don't belong here. And the guy showed him, uh, showed her the papers. And she would not buy it. Things have stopped him. No. I'm going to take you to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, do it, and get out. No, no. I got it. You know, Appreciate it. She, well, the police are there, and when they get everything straight, she's still telling them, "Well, you go in there and do what you gotta do, and hurry up." Like she own that house, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and the woman lying. I know the people that own that house, and they don't want you in there. He's like, "I got paperwork. Mm -hmm. I got the number." I mean, he did everything to convince this woman. This guy said, "You look. I ain't gotta say it. If we went through all that, you know why this woman called." It's just some people in this world ain't got shit to do but make life miserable for other people. Oh, Chaz had me laugh. He talking about it's a match. <laughs> the dude from uh, the, the the store that we just saw, the the, the attorney, uh -huh. and, the, and the charcoal terminator, they got them. <laughs> <laughs> they got them as a tender match or something. Yeah, man. Yeah, let me let me see if I can find the video of this guy going off on somebody else. That's kind of, and you see how this is, man. Like my wife was saying, she didn't know this happened all the time until she saw video of it happening all the time. And yeah, it's funny how us saying it. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> believed us. No. <laughs> no, no. And 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 the scary thing about it is you see these people and you think they're crazy, but now you're starting to see that there are people in positions of power, people in, in positions of influence. This is a guy who's an, an attorney. Mm -hmm. You know, if what I'm hearing is correct. And this guy, gee, this guy's got some problems. He's going off on somebody else. And it looks like, well, let me see. Maybe not even a race thing. Maybe this guy is just Maybe it's just maybe it's just oh I'm prick. sure it's some of column A and so some oh, of column no, oh, B. Oh no, some of it is race, yeah. but he doesn't stop there. Yeah, it looks like he's just a prick yeah. who just cannot mind his own business. What's his name again? 
Aaron Schlossberg. Oh, I got it right here. Aaron Schlossberg. Let's watch the video here. <laughs> You're an ugly f***ing foreigner. First part's debatable, but the second part's not. <laughs> so yeah. f*** you. I don't know this guy at all. Okay. Not that I'm on. I don't know this guy at all. I'm just gonna get a quick picture. Don't worry, dude. I'm, I've got you on video. Yeah, this guy. This this guy's mentally ill, man. If he's doing this, you know. I mean, seriously, if you are this randomly just running up to people out of all the foreign people in New York that are going down the street, mm -hmm. and you just all of a sudden just snap and decide to just target one, mm -hmm. that's not normal, man. Well, I do feel like the police should check out his apartment because he might have photos of these people pinned up on walls with with strength yarn <laughs> yeah. attached to all. Yeah, of them. Aaron Schlossberg, man. Somebody needs to look at this guy because this is. I know he looks clean cut. He might have a business, but this is not. I'm not excusing the guy. This is not normal behavior. This is a guy who is obsessed on one thing, and this is foreigners, and he's just randomly targeting people. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, man, who else do you see doing what you're doing yeah. right now? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, this this is this is this is disturbing, man. You know, uh, I I don't get it. This is why I say this is not normal because. Even with certain racists, they, you know, the Klan got it right. You know, they say, we go out to the woods, we burn some crosses, we blow off some steam, you know, we ain't, ain't no cameras around to get us. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, you know we, 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 don't, we still don't like you, but, you know, we know not to get caught on camera because that's what happens. You do this in public, people pull that camera out and they get you. I'm, you know, you don't see all these cameras everywhere. You don't think that's going to happen. A smart guy like this doesn't think that he's going to end up on social media when he's already been on there one time before. Ray's in the background not doing anything about Ray, it. Like, Ray, Ray, help out, Ray, man. Come he's, on. He's rapping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, <laughs> that does look like Ray. Yo. I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to snap at some point, but I ain't going off like this because racism like a lot of other things, it's just it's just stressful, man. Well, your name is Sloshberg. I like, know. <laughs> <laughs> like you of all of most people should understand. Like yo, if your people's been been through some shit, like get get you what? what what's your? I was function? adopted. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean <Okay>. them. <laughs> all right. <You> know? <laughs> yeah, man, that is true. I mean, I this guy's. This guy's blood pressure is through the roof right now, man. You know, I don't, that's these the, the string of some of these people that you see. Now they, you know, they're going over the, the, the they're crossing the the line of just be, of being normal. When you, I mean, this is then sometimes that's another effect of racism. Well, yeah. let me ask you this: Do you think it's just like with this case? I know we said possibly mentally ill, or you know, maybe some other stuff is going on in his life. Do you think it's it's that's that that's the main case for a lot of these things that are happening, or it's just like people, just some people in mad races? No, I think people. Joy out there, uh, people are racist. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just how it is. But once you, like the woman who tried to, uh, who tried to call the police on that realtor, mm -hmm. and when the police were, that were telling her, look, you know, this is good, this is legal, you know, this guy deserves to be, you go in the house, and she's still fighting him, that is racism that has driven you a little delirious, man. Yeah. You know? Even taking the race out of it, oh, well, no, that woman, she was kind of racist. The woman, the, 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 the porn woman, when she, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. when she brought something up, that's a woman. If you look at her videos, they even say, if you look at her history, like she used to be this really gorgeous looking chick, man, mm -hmm. and she used to hang out at school, uh, had a normal life. Somewhere she snapped. Yeah. And something happened. It's, uh, again, not excusing, not excusing it, but there's a certain amount of racism that would just push you into insanity. Yeah. yeah. And in the case that Schlossberg, he might have grown up. N not being racist, but felt at some point that the system was unfair to him. But what do you guys think? Because I think like this guy thought this way before, but these people really are bold because of the, the, the political environment that we have right now. I think that adds to it, but I also think that with the advent of technology and it actually being helpful in certain certain cases, like now, mm -hmm. uh, you've seen a lot more people get called out on their shit and you have proof. Like, at, at, you know, 20 years ago, it just been your word against that person's. But now you're seeing that I got evidence of you saying this to me or I got, uh, you know, this is apparently a pattern with this slosh, Sloshberg guy. So it's like, all right, we see it more now. We can see it for ourselves. So we're like, yeah, this isn't just a he said, she said thing. I'm seeing you lose your mind over some goofy shit, over some racist stuff, and I got hard evidence to prove it. That, that is definitely true. That's a great point. What about you, Mark? Well, I, I, I do think, uh, you know, having, having – uh, Trump and, and that whole feeling of all the races feeling like, okay, good. Now we're more mainstream. We, we got the, we got the president. So more of us are, feel confident to speak up where we couldn't before, before we have to see the foreigners and just grumble to each other. Now we can say it out loud because it's a clear fact. Mm -hmm. And 
Sure, somebody might be filming me, but these other people know. What I'm, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, right? They, yeah. They're on my side. They're just afraid to say it, but everybody knows. And it's just like, mm, no, we're still not at that point where everybody feels like you do. Yeah. Well, yeah. see, one of the reasons, and I, I still think it, that is a part of it, but the reason why I want to say it's like a, a major part of it is because they have the internet as well and they see how people react to when things like things like this get recorded and put out there they see how you know people go, turn it against the aaron sloshberg guy they see how people turn it against barbecue becky they see how like all these people are turning against them online and in real life so they're like all right i i see how this can go negatively but they still do it yeah i i i feel like they think they their day is coming Mm -hmm. like, like sure we might get me getting in trouble now but there's gonna be a revolution and you'll see yeah and i think they feel like they're in the middle of that revolution you know given this guy's history he was you know uh, uh felix was just saying he just you can see the, the, his political history there you can see that this whole thing is you know right now this this and i think i think you're right uh, uh uh Corey. i think that you know a lot of this stuff is more exposed but also this that seems to be the theme right now you know really going up against the foreigners the immigrants uh people who they perceive don't belong here. That's that's the even more than you know, uh, black people. That's something that's really pumped up right now. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's uh, you know, we've been laughing about this and everything, but this is serious, man. And and a lot of these people who do this, they feel like those people were crazy. But I'm fighting a good fight mm -hmm. for what's going on, for what this country stands for, and what we've been told to do. You know, it's, 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 it's sad, man. You should not own a business and be out here saying some stupid shit like that because you're gonna lose your livelihood. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah, but hey. Beat goes on. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't stopped these people, man. And I would normally say, what's what's next? Yeah, is he just going to disappear? Are we going to get the whole thing of, hey, that's not really me, but apparently that is him, and he's proud of it. We need the third video. We got a trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him assault Buddy on the street. We saw this. And I need that third video.